Hi, Kelly from First Lutheran with another Sunday School lesson. Um, we're going to talk about fear, and it is in the Bible more than a hundred times. Then some of the verses that we're familiar with, like one comes out of John 14, 27, where Jesus says, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. I do not give as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not be afraid. And as comforting as that is, and as much as I love that peace was given to us, and given to us, we didn't even have to work for it, sometimes I feel shame that I feel fear. So often we're told in the Bible to not have fear, to not be afraid. So does that make me wrong because I have fear? Does that make me a sinner because I'm afraid? Well, when I go back to the Bible, I find that Jesus, before his crucifixion, went to the Garden of Gethsemane. Three times he asked God to take that situation away from him. He was afraid, and he makes it very clear. One of the things I think about in this story where Jesus felt great fear is how he managed it. The first thing he did was he was aware of his fear. He didn't ignore it. He didn't pretend like it wasn't there. He soaked in it and he went to his father with it. He also did not shame himself for his fear. He didn't shame the fear and he didn't shame himself. He recognized it. I am afraid. Please help me. Could we use that as our guide to managing our own fear? Because Jesus and all of his humanity also felt fear, just like we do. Jesus and his humanity felt suffering and he had temptation. And again, he felt fear. There is nothing wrong with feeling fear, especially right now when it is so different and it is so scary. Um, I have a few ideas that may help you through this. Um, and the first, is to sit with your fear, allow that feeling, allow it to be there. And maybe you invite Jesus to sit beside you and say, I feel a lot of fear right now. There's something really powerful in naming our feeling. It tames it down, just like Jesus did. He felt the feeling. Another thing is plan something fun to do. After you have sat with, Maybe Jesus in a meditation and, and told him how you feel. Do something fun after. I don't know what it might be. Maybe making some cookies or going outside to play or drawing a picture, doing a craft. Whatever is fun to you. It's important to take a break from really strong, rough feelings. Number three, maybe make a gratitude list. And so when you have those moments, you can go to that list and keep adding to it. I think that balances out some of those rugged feelings when life is playing rough with us. A number four idea, go outside and play, get some exercise. You know, whether you're swinging on a swing or riding your bikes or skateboarding, whatever it is, go outside and get your heart rate up a little bit. It, releases some of that stress. Number five, fear and anxiety can be a wonderful teacher. Maybe instead of ignoring it, you welcome it. Maybe you think this is happening for me, not to me. What is it that I can learn in this moment? And finally, number six, and there's lots of ideas. These are just six that I came up with. Appreciate yourself for being willing to recognize that fearful feeling. So many people just want to ignore it, push it away, or be really angry at other people rather than sit with that feeling. So I invite you to try those six things and recognize that Jesus had fear. And he sat in it and worked through it. So, could you say a prayer with me at the end of the Sunday School time? Heavenly Father, help us to remember that when we have feelings of fear, 
when we are afraid that your son Jesus had those same feelings. Help remind us to invite him to sit beside us as we work our way through the troubling times. Remind us that Jesus also had times of fear. Remind us that you will love us all the way through it and that this is part of being human. Thank you for loving us in the good times and in the tough times. Amen. Thank you for joining me.